So who is this loi called maîtresse Ezeli Dontor? Well, maîtresse is a word that can be looked at in English two sides. It can be a woman of importance or it can be a woman who's dealing with a man in extramarital affair occasion. Now, in Haitian culture, maîtresse means pretty much the same. And this is the gray area when we talk about this loi called maîtresse Ezeli Dontor. In Ezeli Dontor, there is many lessons. We find the lessons of struggle of a single black woman. We find a lesson of sexuality. Ezeli Dontor is a very powerful spirit in Vodou. She may even be considered to some as the La Reine or the Queen of Petro. If you're experienced and learned, you know that the Petro is a right of Vodou, which is the aggressive side. This is the more, how could I say, the more dominant side of Vodou. In this nation, you have a lot of aggressive spirits, and usually she's put into this category because of her temperament. Ezerly Donton can be considered a loi that can be level-headed, and at times, that can be extremely dangerous. Ezerly is a guardian of single mothers, of children, bisexual, lesbian, and gay men. But Ezerly requires service. If you want service from the maîtresse, she offers protection and she offers her aid in love. But unlike Marinette or various other spirits, her aid is in the direction of family. This is not a spirit that you petition to aid in your love matters if you're just trying to play games or you're looking for a temporary satisfaction. Donton is a serious loi and she does not tolerate nonsense. And as early in various songs, they tell you not to be negligent because your negligence can contribute to her wrath. When you look at Ezerly Donton, you have to take in the account of the darkness that she bestows, her presence. There's a difference between Ezerly Freda and Ezerly Donton, and some people get this confused with racism and color line. One thing a person will realize is that when you're working with the photo of uh, the Black Madonna of Chesatoa, you will realize that things that are of darker nature begin to manifest into your life. And this is why a lot of people in Vodou came to the conclusion that Ezerly Donton is a black woman. Because when they conjured or utilized a specific image, the image of the Black Madonna of Chesatoa, they saw a lot of dark-skinned things begin to manifest in their life. And not only that, historically, people have used certain images to contact certain ancestors. But that's another story I don't want to get into. 
But what I will say is when you are serving as early don't talk, you have to be on your task. You cannot be negligent because if you have children, she may turn against you and harm your children. She can be a very great spirit for protection, but she can definitely turn against you if you turn against her. When Ezerly Danton's head is cool, she is Ezerly Danton. But now, when her head gets hot, this is when you begin to see the manifestation of Zewuj. Ezerly Danton has an alter ego. In the alter ego, is Zewuj. For those of you who want to know about Zewuj, I made a video yesterday so you can go back and look at the previous video that I did and you will get your information about Zewuj. But I want to focus on Ezerly Danton. Ezerly Danton's color ranges from red to blue depending on where you're from in Haiti. And what she requires as in color and servitude depends on how you conjure this spirit. Each conjuration of Donto brings out a different manifestation of her. So the way one Vaudouisa may conjure Donto may differ from another Vaudouisa's conjuration. In this conjuration gives us a different level of servitude. So, if you're going to serve Ezeli Donto, you have to understand that this spirit does not tolerate negligence. 